Hello Brawlers and welcome to this box opening video and guess what I got this in the mail It's the Aquos Halcor Bakugan Bro Fusion Force starter deck uh, yeah, I also got the other ones uh, as well, the, Py the Pyrus Pyravian and also the Chaos Hydrus starter deck. Oh, this is pretty exciting, I've always wanted to have these ever since I got these uh, got released, but, but uh, yeah, it's just nice to have them in Canada. Fusion Force is in Canada now, even though I ordered these off eBay. The only th just looking at it, I can already I can already tell this is gonna be a pretty cool uh, Pretty cool pack. There's gonna be cards in here that we've never seen before, and there's Bakugan that we've never seen before. I think Darkest Auxilator is in here, and I know I've been looking for Auxilator for a while, but I've always wanted the Auraless one, not the Darkest one. The only dis the real disappointing thing about this Fusion Force starter deck is I don't remember what cards actually came inside these. Probably because I have the attention span of a squirrel that's high on cocaine, or that I just flat out forgot. And it's been a while since I've actually watched a video where someone's actually opened these things, and they don't actually keep a list of what cards are included inside. I know the wiki doesn't even have the list of cards what's inside. That would be a good idea for the wiki though. And another thing that I'm really sad about is that this Fusion Force starter deck doesn't even come with any kind of Fusion Bakugan. While most people will probably remember Fusion Bakugan as being the resulting child of two Bakugan having angry sex with each other in the middle of a nuclear blast, I'm probably gonna remember Fusion Bakugan as just an excuse for someone to have more than three Bakugan on their team. Am I allowed to make these jokes by the way? Who's writing these? But yeah, let's just get, let's just uh, stop stalling and let's just get right into opening this thing. I'm really interested to know what's in here. Here, I know I, I know there's probably going to be some Aquas Darkest stuff because it comes with an Aquas and Darkest and Auraless Bakugan. Maybe we'll find an Auraless card in here as well. All right, so I actually got the thing open. All you really have to do is just cut the three pieces of tape off, and then it just slips open like this, and then you get all the stuff that comes inside. So that was not that hard. So I'm gonna throw this away because unlike the last starter deck sets that uh, this is not really meant for storage of any kind unless you want to put your Bakugan in some sack that you're probably gonna throw at your neighbor later. Alright guys so we got this open and I gotta say I kind of like these uh, Bakugan like like uh, Orla Simoga here is just really cool design. Uh, Darkest Auxilator is probably the highlight for me. I've always wanted an Auxilator, and just seeing the design here, I probably have to rethink my priorities now. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think I might. I don't think I'll use Darkest Hydranoid. I'll probably use Auxilator, even though his B power kind of sucks. He has that uh, 100 B power and 10 damage, but and brings two Green Fists, which Green Fists are probably not the best cores in the game. But you know, who cares? He's such cool design. The only the only manual part that he has is just like his uh, his horn here, which is kind. Which unless you have really good fingernails, which I don't, and I'm just I'm not just uh, opening his horn by pure luck. Uh, yeah, you'll you'll have a hard time. But regardless, he looks good either way. Aquas Halcor I've already seen before, so it's not really that surprising to me. I don't know why they put duplicates in the starter decks. Orlis Simoga, we got plus uh, we got uh, plus three hundred B power plus four on a orange shield. So on a good day, uh, he will probably be at thirteen hundred B power and five damage. It's, and uh, Darkest Auxilator is a good Might of Cindius or Mac kind of uh, kind of a. Uh, Bakugan, like base base uh, ten, he's already winning without picking up a core. If you play Might of Cindius or Mac, how Aquas Halcor Ultra seven hundred B power one damage, not too bad, but not too but not too good either. But not so bad that he's gonna be absolutely broken. And this deck is just half shields, half green fists. So what? So you know whatever. But uh, let's put the Bakugan away. You already saw, you already see the cores, but you can just replace them with other ones. I don't really care. Let's get on to the main attraction, that is the cards. I made sure to admit that I did not look at the core, the cards before making this video. So, so uh, yeah, this will be a little bit of a surprise. Uh, so we got obscuring evade, a zero cost stop, aquas or dark is a little too targety. Aquas Freeze Slide, 500 beat power, 5 damage, plus 5 Frost Strike. Jesus Christ, that's... Eevee's probably gonna, cr gonna cream himself for this. Seriously, who's writing my jokes? Falling Strike, 0 cost, 
plus 100 beat power. Sync, you may reveal a card in your hand that costs 5 or more for plus 5 damage. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, very cool. Okay, we're getting the sync here. Aqua Soldier, uh, 4 cost, plus 6 damage, draw 2 cards. Nah, <laughs> pretty cool. Well, Dark Resilience, oh my god. Uh, remember when I sent the Pyrus uh, Matrix starter deck uh, news coverage that this looks like the uh, a scene from a live action Bakugan movie? Yeah, this is probably, this is, pro uh, this is what I mean. Uh, having these cards in person is just an overall different experience than just talking about them on, on a news coverage or something. If you have flipped three or more cards, this attack stop non-darkest and choose a player to discard a card. So basically, According to this wording, if you if I if uh, if I flipped only one card and then I flip Dark Resilience, I cannot use this. So it'll be a dud. So that's the wording on it, but hopefully I can get a clarification. But Dark Resilience though looks really good. Uh, we got Nocturnal Shift, three cost, stop non aquas non darkest sink. You may reveal a card in your hand that costs three to draw one, then choose a player to discard a card. Wow, okay, that's, uh, there you go. Baku Spy, the artwork on this, the Fusion Force artwork is fantastic. I swear to you that I am just at awe with how they improved the artwork here. Uh, wait, who's, the, the, did they actually credit who's, a uh, who's, a uh, who's the one that drew the artwork on this card? No? Huh, that's weird. Okay, well, Baku Spy, 6 cost. Look at five top 5 cards of your opponent's deck. You might play a non-flip card from among them for free and put the rest back on the bottom of their deck in random order. Wow, for 6 cost? That's actually really good. If I could cheese it with Air Zero or Dan or uh, maybe if I could super fuel this, this would be really good. Top 5 cards of your opponent's deck. You might play a non-flip card from among them for free. So that means I can play a Baku Gear card. I can play an Evo card. I can play one of their hero cards. This is just... This is gonna be a monster. This is gonna be a pretty cool monster. Watch the way negate a Baku Gear. <laughs> they finally have Baku Gear negates uh, in this game. I uh, that's pretty that's pretty uh, handy. Baku Gun's new trick flip card. Five cards, draw three cards. Really? For five cards? I don't think that's worth it. I don't. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. Dark disaster. Plus three hundred B power. Plus three sync. You may reveal a card in your hand that costs five or more to draw a card. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Baku Nami. Uh, a 3 cost plus 800? Wow, that's good. Howling Shell Bomb. Uh, this is actually, I think this is what people have been talking about in the community as being like the golden card of uh, Fusion Force. Because uh, it's a 5 cost and it actually syncs well with, well, Dark Disaster syncs well with it. And as well as Falling Strike. So you can potentially play Howling Shell Bomb for at on the first turn, so that means this aux that means Auxilator here is not as useless as we think. He can act he can potentially win uh, B, B power battles. Plus one thousand B power. If another card causes you to reveal this card, you can play this for free. Yeah. So if I play, so if I play Falling Strike on first turn, I get hundred B power. If I'm or if I'm battling with Auxilator, and let's say I didn't pick up a core for him because I suck at rolling. Falling Strike plus 100 beat power, so that makes it 200. Falling Strike sink reveal Howling Shell Bomb. Not only do I get plus five, so Auxilator will swing for 15, but I will also get another thousand, so that means Auxilator will get 1,200 beat power. So yeah, that already outranks uh, Hydra. That already outranks Hydra. Hydronoid, uh, Orless Hydronoid, that already got, gets past uh, Nilius, Nilius Ultra from uh, Battle Brawlers, as well as Nilius Ultra from uh, Armored Alliance. But yeah, that's a, this is a very insane card. Uh, like, there's only two in here? I might have to buy another starter deck in order to get a set. Let's see, Aqua Freeze Beam, plus 200 beat power, sink, you may reveal a card in your hand that costs 5 or more for a plus 500 instead. Again, you can sink it with Howling Shell Bomb because it costs 5. I get two of these, wow. Baku Spikes, 2 cost, plus 400 beat power. That Baku Gun has a Baku Gear attached to it, plus 3 Frost Strike. Wow, okay. Another Dark Disaster. Okay, I get two Dark Disasters, actually. That's, that's pretty cool. So I get two Dark Disasters. Darkest Bark, uh, 2 cost, plus 500 beat power. This already 
This already puts Dark Path to shame, because Dark Path only gave you 300 B power, I think, for a 2 cost. So, yeah, this is already out of classes. Dark Path. Don't bother with Dark Path, just use Darkest Bark. Uh, Punishing Pause, 5 cost, plus 1000 B power if that Bakugan has a Bakugan attached to it, plus 5. Okay, so you don't have Howling Shell Bomb, you can probably reveal this. Sure, you don't get to play it for free, but it's a 5 cost, right? Darkest Fist is a 6 cost, plus 1300 damage. Plus 13 damage, I don't care. Dark Dark Cool's Energizer. Okay, this card can be attached to a character as a second Baku Gear. So we got, so this gives plus 300 beat power permanently. Okay, so we already got uh got our uh, first taste of uh, dual wielding cards. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Another dual wielding stuff, Hydronite Breaker. This card can be attached to a character as a second Baku Gear. When you play this, negate an action card. So. Yeah, if you get a 2 cost gear reduction co card on this, you can negate an action card for 4. And you also get to attach this for plus 400 plus 1. This is not bad. Another Darkest Bark. Baku Spring, uh, plus for 1 cost, plus Shadow Strike, and uh, draw a card. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and then we got Brutal Barrage. 3 cost, when you play this, if, you, if a player has no cards in hand, plus 500 beat power and plus 5. So this applies to either you or your opponent for having no cards in hand. So this is this is pretty cool for like sacrifice and stuff. It's a pure darkest card, so you can just throw it into any kind of deck you want that has darkest in it. Darkest Slayer. 1 cost, 200 beat power plus and plus 2. What the heck? This is already better than Prismatic Broke or Prismatic Shield and Darkest Slicer and stuff. Because uh, it already gives 200 B power and plus 2. So this is already better. This is already better. Why do they keep topping themselves every time and just making the old ones obsolete? Like, Jesus Christ, I'd rather have a card that gives B power and damage than just giving B power. So, yeah, that's that's all the cards for, for, uh, for this Fusion Force deck. This is probably the best deck I've seen in the entirety of, uh, of the uh, reboot series. You got Aqua's Free Slide, you got the Falling Strike, Howling Shell Bomb, and Bak and how yeah, Howling Shell Bomb, Aqua's Freeze Beam combo here. And then you also Oh yeah, you can also combo with Dark Disaster. So Dark Disaster, Falling Strike, Aqua's Freeze Beam, all all of these combo with Howling Shell Bomb. This that's Howling Shell Bomb is literally the the uh whatchamacallit? The get the uh win con of this entire deck. So this is pretty incredible. Then you got really cool gear cards like uh Brutal Barrage and you got the dual wielding cards. And then we got like Baku Spy and the uh, Nocturnal Shift. These are really cool art cards. But and uh this and we also got a taste of what these new kind of uh, flip cards are like. But uh yeah, this is a uh, this is pretty much the entire this is pretty much the entire deck. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think this deck is probably going to be the best deck that we've seen uh, in terms of starter deck releases. So, wow, they they real they're really uh, pushing sick now, are they? But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this starter deck in the comments down below. But also, guys, let me know which starter deck you want to see me unbox next tomorrow. Do you want to see the Chaos Hydras one, or do you want to see the Pyrus Patrix one? So let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below. Let Maybe we'll have some jokes about some of the artwork or something. I've been Haru Ren, and that was Bakugan. Bye!